Greetings, fellow Americans. Today, we bring you monumental news that is set to impact countless lives across the nation. Today, we have some absolutely incredible news to share with you. The House of Representatives has just passed the highly anticipated $2,000 fourth round stimulus bill, and we've got all the confirmed details. We are going to discuss specifics of this new stimulus package, unraveling what it means for individuals and families across our great nation, and revealing the confirmed date for those much needed direct deposits. This is the financial relief millions have been waiting for, and it's happening sooner than you might think. Welcome to Money Matters, your go to channel for all things stimulus check updates and social security. Contrary to a widely held belief, the establishment of the retirement age at 65 in Germany was not initially influenced by Chancellor Otto von Bismarck's age, who happened to be 65 at the time. The historical context is more complex. When Germany introduced its pioneering old age social insurance policy in 1889, they actually set the retirement age at a notably advanced 70 years. It was only after nearly three decades had passed since Bismarck's passing that they decided to lower it to 65. This adjustment in retirement age marked a significant development in the world of social security. Germany holds the distinction of being the very first country globally to implement an old age social insurance policy, a groundbreaking move following Chancellor Bismarck's visionary idea. The proposal, presented at Bismarck's request by Germany's emperor, William I, was nothing short of revolutionary and shook the German parliament in 1881, when the United States eventually embraced its own social insurance system in 1935. It opted for a retirement age of 65, undoubtedly influenced by the successful German model. Interestingly, when the Committee on Economic Security, CES, made the pivotal recommendation of setting the retirement age at 65 for Social Security in the United States, it wasn't grounded in profound intellectual theory or based on a European precedent. Rather, it was a pragmatic decision. The CES took into account the retirement ages prevalent in the few private pension systems that existed at that time. Alongside the examination of the 30 state-run old-age pension systems, this practical approach ultimately played a significant role in shaping the retirement age framework we are familiar with today, underscoring the interconnected history of social security policies across nations. Navigating the intricacies of social security benefits means understanding that it's not always a straightforward process. There's the possibility, albeit a rare one, that you might receive more than what you're entitled to, an overpayment. According to AARP, this occurrence was exceptionally infrequent, happening only 0.2% of the time during the 2019 fiscal year. Should you find yourself in this situation, take a deep breath. The Social Security Administration, SSA, usually notifies you of the overpayment. However, you'll be required to repay the excess amount. And, here's the catch. Your regular benefits may be temporarily withheld until the debt is cleared. Considering that over 70 million Americans rely on Social Security benefits each month, the occasional error is simply part of the process. Now, let's flip the coin. If you ever discover that you've been underpaid, receiving less than what you're rightfully owed, there are steps and processes in place to rectify the situation, ensuring you get the correct amount you deserve. It's essential to be proactive in such cases. But there's another facet to the social security landscape that demands your attention, scams. In 2021 alone, there were over 568,000 reports of social security-related scam attempts leading to victims losing a staggering $63.6 6 million. According to the agency's data, what's even more disconcerting is that many more incidents likely go unreported, often due to feelings of shame or embarrassment on the part of the victims, as highlighted by government officials. Supplemental Security Income, SSI, plays a vital role in providing financial support to a specific demographic. It primarily targets individuals aged 65 and older along with disabled individuals facing financial hardship due to limited or no income. SSI is generally well protected by law, offering a safeguard against creditors attempting to seize these funds to pay off debts, such as those stemming from credit cards, medical bills, or personal loans. This legal protection ensures that SSI recipients can rely on these payments for their basic needs without the constant fear of creditors encroaching on their financial stability. Eligibility for SSI hinges on two critical factors, income and assets. The program is designed to prioritize those who are most in need. Therefore, the more income an individual has, the lower their SSI benefit will be. This system ensures that resources are distributed fairly among beneficiaries, with the goal of providing essential support to those facing financial hardship. Now, here's an intriguing twist in the story. A select group of beneficiaries receive their social security payments on a distinct date the third of the month, 
This unique payment date applies to individuals who started drawing Social Security benefits before May 1997, a group that has now reached the impressive age of 88 and older. This fascinating aspect of the system showcases the enduring nature of Social Security and how it continues to provide crucial financial assistance to older Americans. Alaska is about to send out checks worth a substantial $3,284 to eligible residents, all thanks to its remarkable Permanent Fund Dividend PFD, program. This initiative is truly unique in the United States and is built on a fascinating concept, sharing the state's oil and gas revenues directly with its people. What makes it even more enticing is that there are no strings attached to these payments. Recipients are free to use the money as they see fit. Currently, Alaska is in the process of dispersing the 2022 PFD, and each eligible recipient is in line to receive a generous sum of $3,284. It's worth noting that the payout amount for 2023 hasn't been finalized yet, so there's anticipation in the air. To get in on this financial boost, there are specific eligibility criteria to meet. First and foremost, you must have filled out an application to be considered for the PFD. These payouts are typically scheduled for March 31st each year, making it a much-anticipated event for Alaskans. Additionally, to qualify, you need to have been a resident of Alaska for the entire previous year and must not have faced a felony sentence or incarceration during that time. If you meet these qualifications, it's a fantastic opportunity to receive that extra financial cushion. And for those eligible, the 2022 Permanent Fund Dividend could be arriving in your bank account this month. Great news for Alaskans. If you've been eagerly awaiting your Permanent Fund Dividend, PFD, the moment is drawing near. Here's the scoop. If your PFD application achieves the eligible not paid status by September 6, the Alaska Department of Revenue has marked Thursday, September 14, as the day when those much anticipated checks will start rolling out. It's an event that countless residents have been looking forward to, and rightfully so, but the excitement doesn't end there. For those who filed for the 2023 PFD, your financial boost is on its way as well. If your application reaches the eligible not paid status by September 21, the magic date is October 5th when you can expect your 2023 payment. And here's the kicker, this includes those tech-savvy applicants who've filed electronically and requested direct deposits, ensuring a speedy and convenient delivery of their funds. However, as you plan how to make the most of this extra income, there's an important consideration to keep in mind. Both the 2022 and 2023 PFDs are considered taxable income, which means that when tax season rolls around, these payments will be factored into your income tax calculations. But there's a silver lining, the $662 portion from the 2022 PFD serves a unique purpose. It functions as an energy relief payment and enjoys an exemption from taxation. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.